The fire broke out in the two-story terraced house at Northcote Avenue in South Hall late last night. A woman who was 66 died at the scene. Her husband, who was 68, died later at Ealing Hospital. Their 16-year-old granddaughter was released after hospital treatment, as were her parents, who were both 34. But her sister, who's eight, and her seven-year-old brother, who were both rescued by firefighters, are still being treated for the effects of breathing smoke. The family haven't been named. The cause of the fire is still being investigated, but it isn't thought to be suspicious. This is Paul Moss for London Today. A butler who stole from his employers to fulfil his fantasy of living like a millionaire has been jailed today for three and a half years. Percival Hole even used his boss's Belgravia home to entertain friends and hired his own butler. His victims were the Australian millionaire Rod Price, owner of the UK Thistle Hotel chain, and his wife Loeen. Police have released security video to try to catch a petrol station robber in south-east London who struck 11 times. The pictures are taken from one of the petrol station's closed-circuit television cameras. The thief's usual tactics are to jump the counter, threaten staff with a knife and then to grab whatever he can lay his hands on. Finally, Sports Minister Tony Banks has repented in public today after angering football fans by saying England won't win the World Cup. Mr Banks, who's MP for West Ham, has bet £50 on England taking the trophy at next year's finals in France. He claims he was quoted out of context, but he's still been given odds of 20 to 1. And he says if he wins the bet, it'll pay for his trip to France. Well, that's all from us this afternoon, but do join Lindsay Charlton and me for the weekend edition of London Tonight, when Harrison Ford gives us a rare interview. The man just voted the world's most popular movie star tells us about his new film, Air Force One. And from sky-high drama to Teletubby tragedy, how shops are struggling with demand for the capital's favourite toy. Well, we'll have that and much, much more at 25 past six. In the meantime, have a good afternoon. Bye-bye. Hello again. A few sharp showers to come this afternoon and this evening, but then clear spells overnight. A chilly night with temperatures down to just seven in places. Another breezy day tomorrow with some showers, but better on Sunday. Here's a summary. For a more detailed five-day outlook, call Weather Update on 0891 110000. Join the funky slow Norris and all his friends on Mondays at 20 to 4 on CITV. Good afternoon, folks, and an extra large welcome to Friday's CITV. Just wait till you see what we've got for you today. It all begins in Jay's world. And a lollipop lady. Hello and welcome to Jay's World. Where Egghead has the sniffles. <laughs> Blow, Blow your, your nose. nose. And we're off to play school. Yeah, Muriel's play play school. <laughs> I'll come along this afternoon about the job then. But Moo, if you get a job in a school, who's going to clear up the nest and cook my supper? You, Morris. <laughs> oh, good. Those will be my oohs. Oohs? <laughs> ha! Ha! Just, um, rats in my fencing for William Tell. Later. <laughs> Good morning, class. Morning, miss. Thank you for the apples, children. Now, before we get on with today's lesson, are there any questions? Uh, yes, miss. Why are we balancing these books on our heads? To make you sit up straight. Are you sitting up straight? Uh, why are you talking in that funny voice? Elocution. Speaking properly. So... Repeat after me. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. 
Blow your nose. Repeat after me. How now, brown cow? How now, brown, 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 brown. Blow, Blow your, your nose. nose. Now, Egghead, what's in the box? <laughs> Look, two Oz. Now, what do we say when we see two Oz together, class? We say, ooh, Luke. Ooh. Good. Miss. If you want to speak, JJ, put your wing up. Miss. Yes, JJ. Real play school isn't like this. It's fun. Nonsense. School is hard work. Oh, look. Uh-oh. Looks like those poor Jays need rescuing with today's big story, which is William Tell. It's the big story. Oh. Once upon a time, in a far away country called Switzerland, where they make cuckoo clocks, there lived a very, very good man. La 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 la! <laughs> Hello, I am William Tell. I love animals. I love my country, and I love my son. Little Willy. <laughs> Bless. William was very good, but he was also very proud too. He was proud of being good with a crossbow. I am the best with the crossbow. I have won rosettes, certificates and trophies. And he was very proud of himself. What do we tells always say? <laughs> A tell bows his head to no man. Ah! Ooh. Bless. Now there is someone else you should meet. A bad, bad man who wore a black hat. What are you looking at? I'm nasty. Mr. Nasty to you. And I'm boss around here. When I say hop, people hop. Oi, you. Who? Me? Yeah, you. Hop. <gasps> See? I'm really unpopular and nobody likes me. Except me. I adore him because he is so... so... Bad? Exactly. What are you going to do today that's really awful? I am going to make a fool of William Tell. Oh, now that's a good idea. I can't bear William Tell. He's so... so... Good? No. Proud. Let's go to town, little Billy. I fancy a burger and a Swiss roll. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> I have made a law that says everyone who passes my hat must bow their head. Tell is much too proud to do that. <laughs> exactly. Well, little Billy, here we are in town. Bless. Bow your head before the black hat of Mr. Nasty. Never a tell bows his head before neither man nor hat. <laughs> Oh, I heard that, Tell. And you can tell that kid of yours to blow his nose. You have broken the law. Now, Tell boy, I've heard you're a bit of a dab hand with the old crossbow. Well, I bet you couldn't get an arrow through this apple. <laughs> of course I can shoot an arrow through an apple. I am William Tell. I accept your challenge. It's not a challenge. It's a punishment. You see, the apple will sit on your son's head. Ah, I can't do it. My poor little Billy, I might kill him. What, you, miss? Surely not. Please don't make me. I beg you. Hang about. You need to be further back. Further back. And back. 
Further. 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 Further still. Further. Further. Oh, yes, he's miles away. Fire! <laughs> Yuck! Oh, happy end. I'll get you, Tell! But he never did. The end. I had better get off to the school. Good luck. Yes, well, good well, luck. I hope she gets the teaching job, though I'm not sure I'd like to be in her class. We'll just have to wait and see. Job as a teacher? Uh, no. Oh, I got a job as a lollipop lady. <laughs> it means I don't have to put on that silly voice anymore. Room time. Oh, uh, could you uh, just one last time? The Sniffle by Ogden Nash. In spite of her sniffle, Egghead is chiffle. <laughs> Some girls with a sniffle would be weepy and tiffle. They would look awful, like a rained-on woofle. But Egghead is chiffle, in spite of her sniffle. Her nose is more red, with a cold in her head. But then, to be sure, her eyes, they are bluer. Some girls with a snuffle, their tempers are uffle. But when Egghead is snivelly, she's snivelly civilly. <laughs> and when she's snuffly, she's perfectly lovely. <sighs> Come on, give us a kiss, love. <laughs> Blow your <laughs> nose! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Well, next this afternoon, we're in the doghouse. That's a good idea. We'll have a story. Kipper is about to land. <laughs>